Hey, Jason Browse here from Browse Blades. I wanted to put together a little announcement video. Um, I've been getting a lot of emails and messages and phone calls. Um, people asking about the Silent Soldier. Um, what you see here is the last and final Silent Soldier from the 500 piece run. Um, we're very thankful that we were able to sell out all 500 pieces uh, in like less than two months. Um, that being said, I'm getting a, a lot of people saying, you know, well, are you going to make more? Um, are you going to make another variation? Uh, what are your future plans for this knife? And uh, that's kind of why I wanted to make this video and kind of explain uh, what we have going in the future. Currently, we're making 50 of these uh, it's going to be the exact same knife uh, it's going to be a limited edition and it's going to be called the SSF blackout um, blackout meaning that everything is going to be coated black um, from the blade uh, pocket clips screws liners backspacer um, everything is going to be coated with uh, black Cerakote um, we're actually getting them, this another thing I'm really excited about is we're uh, linking up with uh, the creators, the inventors of Cerakote, like the actual company, and they're going to coat all 50 of these for us, so, um, you know, if you're worried about the coating wearing, uh, you shouldn't be because this is the company that, uh, you know, basically invented the stuff, so you can pretty much guarantee that they're going to have good quality. So these, um, we're going to have them ready to ship probably in a few days or maybe at the end of the week. Um, but we do have a link up on the website to purchase them. Uh, so if you go to browseblades.com, uh, you'll be able to uh, see the photo up on the top slider um, and you're able to purchase it. Um, out of the 50 pieces we're making, we have about 40 of them already reserved. Uh, so if you're interested in getting one of these, uh, I would suggest... Um, you know, getting on the website and ordering them as fast as you can. So that's it for the Silent Soldier Flipper. Um, I also wanted to uh, just uh, send out a quick thank you um, to everyone that has uh, posted a video on YouTube about the Silent Soldier Flipper and, you know, basically help us spread the word. Um, the two main guys that pretty much got me you know the exposure that I wanted was uh, Gavco and Tough Thumbs so I just wanted to send a special thank you to both of them um, you know I really appreciate you know you guys you know it's always cool when another knife maker you know wants to give credit to other knife makers I and mean, you don't see that that often because everyone wants their own spotlight well both of these two guys are willing to you know share the love and uh, I think that shows a lot about their character so I just wanted to say a special thank you to those two, you know, and everyone else that posted a video about the Silent Soldier Flipper. So up next, I wanted to just go over a few things that we're working on right now. Um, this is the first time that I've announced this, um, but we're going to be making a, uh, a Silent Soldier version one in all black. Uh, the coating is going to be a ceramic gun coat. Um, the knife itself is going to be exactly uh, like the other ones that we've made, um, but it's just going to be all black. Um, no, we're not going to make any more satin. No, we're not going to do two-tone. Um, it's just going to be all black. Uh, we're going to do. We're going to start out with a short run of 250 pieces, and uh, if that does well, we can always make you know 250 more, 500 more, a thousand more. You know, whatever we feel is necessary at that time. Um, these are also going to come with. Uh, Kydex sheath and uh, ball chain, um, just like the other ones. So these will be available in probably about 30 days. Also, we have uh, the black, all black SS V2. Um, these are actually available right now uh, on the website, browseblades.com. Um, these are available for $119. Uh, these are also coated with uh, ceramic gun coat. Um, the, uh, the coating holds up very, very well. Um, you know, even sharpening it after it's coated, it's even hard to get the coating off on the cutting edge. Um, 
This is probably our, a very, very popular model that we have, and uh, a lot of sales are driven through this uh, exact knife here. Um, so we're, we have uh, 500 of these available right now with uh, Kydex sheath, uh, ball chain, and uh, there you go. Um, also we have uh, two new mid-tech knives that we're working on. Um, you know, people have different uh, meanings of mid-tech. Um, when I say mid-tech, I mean it's part machine, part handmade. And when I say part handmade, it's by me. Um, so here's kind of one of the first, uh, you know, mid-tech models that we're working on now. Um, this is the, uh, the SS Ranger. Um, it's a lot bigger than all the other silent soldiers that we have, but it's also thinner. These are 3 16 thick. Uh, these are uh, cut out on the water jet, um, and then I hand grind them, uh, heat treat them, finish them, um, make the sheath for them. Um, these come with the ball chain as well, and they're also set up uh, for tech lock. So these are tech lock holes. You can easily just attach a tech lock. Uh, they don't come with a tech lock. You can order one specially from me, and I'll include it in the package, but... Um, they don't come with them. These are uh, $149 uh, available now at browseblades.com. The second knife we have is called the Assault. Um, this is just a small fixed blade that I've been working on for a while now. Um, I love the shape of it. I love the grind. Um, we have two carbon fiber inserts here. Um, and they're kind of unique. Uh, the blade thickness itself is 3 16 um, But these are a quarter inch. The inserts are a quarter inch. And what I did was I pressed them flat against this face here and then let them stick up like a 3D form here and then radius to all the corners. So basically if you're right handed and you hold it, you know, that part is like sticking up in your hand so it kind of gives like a really good grip to it. Not sure if you can see that or not, but um, there's also you know two holes here. You can also wrap it in paracord. Um, I have another version that I wrapped in paracord. I don't have it now. Actually, I do once. Um, so here's the same version with the paracord wrap. Um, you could easily just take the inserts out. They're they're just press fit in there, so they can be tapped out. Um, no, I always do that because, I mean, unless when you press fit them, they'll, they'll easily fall out. I, I never do that. I always make sure that they're press fit. Um, these are actually CNC machined in there with a very tight tolerance. So, But here's the one with the black paracord wrap. Um, this also creates a really good grip in your hand. Uh, I made the sheaths to uh, come with a, a big pocket clip. Um, you know, you could put it on both sides and you can just wear it in your pocket or um, it also comes with a ball chain so you could wear it around your neck if you want to. Okay, last but not least, uh, we have the triple threat folder. I get at least 20 to 30 emails every single day of people asking me what's going on, uh, when's it going to be ready. Um, we just finished the, uh, the CAD model uh, about two or three weeks ago and we're currently working on the first prototype. Um, that should be done in probably two to three weeks. Uh, once it's finished, uh, I'm gonna make a video and I might be doing a pass around on it just so people can see it, I can get feedback, uh, we can make any adjustments that people think is necessary. Um, you know, one thing I probably forgot to mention was uh, with Gavco and Tough Thumbs, um, you know, telling me, you know, what what I should improve on on the, on the Silent Soldier folder, you know, what I should do different, and, you know, those suggestions I take to heart, and you're going to see them on the Triple Threat folder. So here's a little teaser sneak peek at the blade of the Triple Threat folder. As you can see, it has the three grinds here. Um, we did something a little more unique this time. It has two swedges up on top. These are not sharpened, um, but these are. As you can see, the similarities of the uh, original triple threat. 
Uh, the blade thickness on this is uh, going to be 3 16 um, so it's going to be a lot thinner, a lot lighter. Um, but yeah, we're, we're really excited to release this and uh, you know, stay tuned for the uh, prototype. Um, I was going to make a YouTube video showing the whole entire 3D model, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Alright, I think that covers everything. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.